Hello, everyone. I'm a fanatic for math. That's why they call me Math a Fanatic. And today we're doing the in center construction. And to create, uh, to locate rather the in center, what we need to do is create three angle bisectors of a triangle. So what I need to do is just bisect each of these three angles. And how do I do that? Well, I need a compass first of all. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out. And angle bisectors are pretty quick and easy to make. You start out by placing your needle on any vertex. You open your compass to some setting so that it will intersect both sides of the angle you're bisecting when you create your arc. And for our in-center, since we're not just bisecting a single angle, we're doing three, I want to keep the inside of the triangle less cluttered. Technically, for this next uh, couple of these next couple of arcs, you can keep the same setting. You can have almost any setting uh, as long as it's greater than the distance between the two intersections uh, that I just created. Uh, so for ours, I don't want to have them on the inside. I want to have them on the outside to create less clutter. So I'm going to open my compass so that it goes completely outside the triangle. And it looks like I'm having some major space issues here, but I think I'll be okay. And you just create an arc there. And you, keeping the exact same setting, you move it up to the other intersection and create another arc. And there we go. They intersect. So I think I'm in good shape. And then you just need to do uh, that same move for all three angles. I do, however, need to actually draw my angle bisector. Don't want to forget that. That's kind of the important part, wouldn't you think? So you start by drawing from the vertex through the intersection you just created uh, outside the triangle and that will be your angle bisector. So there's one. I need two more. It shouldn't take very long to do these last two. Now that we know how to do it, let's see how quickly we can move through this. Needle goes on the vertex, open it to just some reasonable distance. Make sure that it intersects both of the sides move to one of those intersections, open my compass so that it goes outside the triangle, strike an arc, keep in the same setting, move to the other intersection, strike an arc. There we go. I just need to strike it until it intersects that first one. Then I'm ready to draw my next angle bisector. So I go from the vertex through that intersection I just created. And here is my projected in center. So we'll see how good I am uh, at the end. One more to go. Move my compass up. Put it on the vertex there. Open it a decent distance. I'm going to try to angle it between all these other ones. Here we go. I'll do that. And again, if you feel like you're getting a little bit too cluttered uh, with all the excess, you can always erase some. I think I'm going to do that. Do a little spring cleaning. Just do a little spring cleaning. I don't need all this over here. It just seems like it's a little overkill. So I'm just going to get rid of these extra arcs that I didn't necessarily use. This is a little excess here as well. A little excess over here. There we go. It's all nice and tidy. All nice and tidy. Now I'm ready to finish my construction. I'm going to put my compass on the first intersection I created. Open my compass as far as I can. Ooh, this is going to be tough. I think I'll be alright though. Strike an arc there. And then put it on the other intersection. Got to be a perfectionist. You always want to, with constructions, you always want to be as perfect as you possibly can. Accuracy is the name of the game for uh, constructions if you want it to work right. All right, so I've got that. I'm ready to draw that third one. Keep your fingers crossed. I think I did okay. I think it'll be okay. Computer software makes it a little difficult to tell sometimes, but I think I'll be all right. Here we go. Here we go. Right through. The intersection there. And it looks like I've got a little bit of issue. A little bit of issue. 
And so sometimes that happens. You'll just get this uh, space in between. And when you get that space, you want to troubleshoot your... You want to look at everything that you did and see if there are any that don't look like you bisected them. Like, for instance, this first one I did, it looks like this top angle is a little bit smaller than the bottom one. So maybe I should have positioned that one a little bit better. Say something like that, for instance. I'm still going through the intersection over here, so I should be okay. Um, up here, I don't know if I went exactly through that intersection, so I'm going to see if I can get closer. We'll do something like that. And here, you can see up in my top right that I'm a little bit off with that, so I'm going to try to reposition this. And of course, you can't uh, drag and drop your, um, your angle bisectors, but you can always erase and redraw. And that sort of changed my position down here, so I think I'm going to redo that one. So I try to clean it up a little bit. Um, sometimes it's a little bit hard with this software to get things just right. Uh, but I close the gap just a tad, uh, and I'm doing all right. So what an in-center is, uh, is the center of the circle that can be inscribed in a circle. So if I wanted to create a circle inside the triangle that touched all three sides, I would put my uh, compass needle on the center, on the in-center there. And the tricky part is that you need to get, um, you, need, you need to put the pencil on one of the three sides, but it has to be the shortest distance to that side. In other words, it would have to be, if I drew a line from the needle to the pencil, that line would be perpendicular to the side. And uh, if you really want to be meticulous about it, you're going to have to do the whole football construction and bisect, uh, draw a perpendicular bisector on that. But uh, I usually just eyeball it and see see how it goes. So this time I'm going to eyeball it and see if I'm close. And usually this doesn't work out well for me at all, but I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah. See, it didn't work out the greatest, but that's okay. That's okay, you know. Nobody's perfect. It's a little tough. Clearly I went way out over here. The bottom two are okay, but not so much over there. But I'm okay with that. I think I'll survive. So that's an in-center. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I hope this was helpful for you. Until next time, YouTubers.